Richard Allen Watson, and I'm an ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri. I trained at the University of Arkansas Medical Science Campus, and I finished my residency in 1990. And today we're going to discuss meningitis. Symptoms of fungal meningitis can be similar to that just of regular meningitis, but with fungal infections, they're much more indolent, slow onset. Um, they frequently can be seen in people that are taking high-dose steroids, uh, especially in diabetics that take high-dose steroids can get um, an infection in their nasopharynx that can spread up into their linings of their brain. Um, when individuals or may have um, a problem with their immune system, such as AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And typically, it, it's an acanthosis nigricans infection that can spread from the nose or a candida uh, fungal infection. And those people will become lethargic, develop headaches, um, not feel well. And the diagnosis is made on lumbar puncture uh, when some cerebral spinal fluid is sampled from their lower back and that fluid from their lower back is contiguous with that of the head and you'll see the fungus on gram stain. It can be cultured out on the appropriate auger but fungal infections typically the, the cultures take a fairly long time to develop. Once again this has been Alan Watson discussing meningitis and the causes and treatments of it.